Hi and welcome. Today we are going to decorate for one of a lot of people's favorite holidays, which is Halloween. And Halloween is just a lot of fun. It can be spooky. It can be cute. He's pretty cute, isn't he? He's one of my favorite little decorations. I pulled him out to show him to you. And he's going to help me get this house looking festive. I think my grandsons are going to love it because I'm not going to do anything too spooky. And I think that I'll love it because it's going to give me a lot of joy. And I hope this brings you joy too. If for some reason you don't feel like cleaning the house and getting it ready to put stuff out, I totally get it. You can live vicariously through me. I love to decorate. And so I hope that you enjoy watching me do this. And I'm going to show you where I'm putting a few things around and then what I normally do is at the end I'll show you a whole layout of how everything looks and I'll put it to some spooky cute music we'll see what happens but something Halloween related and then that way you can get some enjoyment out of seeing what it looks like I'm going to also have some pictures of the outside of the house which I will spend a lot more time on and then I'll show it to you during the day and also show it to you at night so you can see all the spooky lights so what do you think? Let's get started. Okay, let's get to it. Here are some before shots of the house before we get it decorated for our spooky Halloween. And you'll get some quick shots of my five dogs along the way. So let's get decorating. Now I brought up all the tubs from the basement. These are the two that go upstairs and then I've got a ton in the garage for the outside. And I lay them all out on my island so I know what I have. And I have quite a bit of goodies, not quite to the Christmas <laughs> level, but it's still a lot of stuff and I'm looking forward to showing you how I put them all out. So let's get to that. Aren't these guys cute? <laughs> They're little shelf sitters. They've got like a a hard little bum. <laughs> so we're going to put these up here. Put a little, make them look a little casual. <laughs> like that one. I also put out this, which is my spookiest thing probably. I think my grandson, who's four, who's a little bit afraid of certain things, I think he'll be okay with this. And then I put a wreath up, another one of these over there. And then I also have a fireplace thing over there. Okay, let's check out some other things. Every couch needs a Halloween pillow, right? What do you think? What's that above my shoulder? Oh, that's my little pumpkin. Isn't he cute? He sits up here and guards the house. These are some candles I already had, but I throw some of these little leaves in them and it makes them look a little bit more festive. I don't have to really do anything to them. And these have timers, so I love little candles with timers. I have two of these. These have little lights inside of them. And again, a timer, super critical. I don't wanna be going around turning everything on every night. So this is a white one and I have an orange one I'll show you as well. Here's the orange one. Back a million years ago, I had two little people in my life and they've grown up to be fully functioning adults. But this is one of my favorite pictures of all times. We were at a farm going to pick some pumpkins. So this goes where I sit at night. So behind me is a bench. And when I bought this bench, I told my husband, you know, when we have people over, it's just more places for people to sit. And about three seasons in, <laughs> he said, there's always stuff on the bench. I don't think people can sit there. And I finally told him, no, <laughs> it's where I have all my decorations. So let's see what we did over here. I just put some pumpkins out. This is a pumpkin that has some leaves in it. And then I put a little gnome at the top. I'm a huge fan of gnomes. Wait till Christmas, you'll see my gnomes. I put a couple of pumpkins in my little plant and then we'll keep moving on. This is our wine rack. And it actually is made out of an old sewing machine, which I think is super cool. And so I put a cute little pumpkin and a couple little bobbleheads and that will make that little corner a little more festive. Let's take a walk to the sunroom. 
where we have our big table. Okay, so maybe I lied. This guy might scare my grandson a little bit, but he's just saying there I can take him down if he gets scared. A few shots of my oh-so-helpful dogs as I decorate, and next you'll see the final product. I hope you enjoy. You know what I heard? I heard that some people haven't yet subscribed to my channel. Oh my gosh, can you believe it? You know, I'm a small channel and I'm almost to a thousand subscribers. So you subscribing to my channel will make all the difference to me. So please take a few minutes, log into your account, subscribe to me. I really, really appreciate it. Okay, let's get back to it. What do you think? Okay. 